trying to remember if there was anything else I was gonna talk about. Well, hey everybody! <laughs> It's been so long, I don't know how to do this. I don't even know my name. What's his name? Where's the file with his name? Anybody get that reference? Hey guys, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Maddie Newton, and it has been so long since I've done a beauty video. So today I am doing a favorites video, and I love these videos, and I haven't done one in a while, so I have a lot of new favorites for you today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you are new here, hello, you should hit the subscribe button. I don't know where it is anymore. Everything's always changing on me. Shh. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump on into it. Um, I might have mentioned some of these before, but these are what my favorites are at the moment. So that's what I'm gonna tell you. What should we start with, folks? Let's go ahead and do hair. So I don't think I've told you exactly what I do with my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. When I straighten my hair or straighten it to curl it, Typically what I do is wash my hair and then when I get out, I put in this heat protectant, which is Enjoy Straightener Style. Great stuff if you have coarse hair like I do. And then I put this in, which I just started using a couple months ago, um, but this is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. Silky smooth, it's great. I do like a pump or two and put it all throughout my hair. It just makes it shiny, it's really nice. And then after I style it, I, this has been a ride or die for a long time. Orbe Beach Spray, love this stuff. Um, it's like a normal texturizing shine spray. You just spray it, don't get too close because it will be real oily real fast. Next, I'm just kind of going backwards. Let's talk about skincare. So for my body, one thing I've been loving for the past few months when I get out of the shower is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Body Butter Cream. Pistachio Almond and Sweet Vanilla Fragrance. It's so good. This scent is so good and it feels great on your body. I like using this just by itself or when I'm tanning, tanning, I use the Isle of Paradise and this is the lightest shade they have and these, I love this. I will probably do a whole separate thing on it but I'm super fair skinned and finding self tanner has always been a struggle for me because I don't like using mousses because I feel like they still get splotchy even when they say they're not supposed to and so then I just don't ever try any new ones because I'm like, it's not worth being streaky for a day or five. And anyway, this doesn't do any of that. It's so great. You just put some drops in with your moisturizer, like in your hand, not in the container. But they also have a spray version. I haven't tried it. I love the drops. Fair skin, this is great. But also if you have darker skin, I've just only ever used this. They have three colors, this is the lightest one. So now let's talk about my face skincare. You know I use some of this already, but I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you anyway. So I clean my face with the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, as always, love this stuff. A recent fave of mine, but an actual fave, is the Glossier Solution Exfoliating Skin Perfector. When I heard that Glossier was coming out with this, honestly, I was kind of skeptical, I was like, oh, they're just coming out with something else to have in their skincare line, and I wasn't really a believer. I saw the result pictures that people were posting, but I was like, maybe they were using other things with it, all of that. Anyway, I started using this, and I love it. You know that I don't have super acne-prone skin, and this is supposed to have, it has acne treatment in it. You can feel it when you rub it on a cotton ball on your face. Like, I can feel when I glide over maybe a bump or something, the pimple that I didn't even know was there, I can feel it like sting a little bit. It's a good kind of stinging, if that is possible. Um, but it just kind of prevents anything that's coming up to the surface or already on the surface and treats it. It's kind of amazing. It says exfoliating, but it's not like a scrub. It's a thin, watery consistency that you put on with a cotton pad. So anyway, love that stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should, at Maddie Newton. I have been doing Instagram story skincare routines the past couple months, and you've seen that I'm obsessed with the It Cosmetics secret sauce. I wish it wasn't so expensive because I love it so much, but it's really worth it. I just love when I get my 20% off coupons and I can go in and get this a lot cheaper. I have been loving the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Cream because I just love it. I'm so impressed with their skincare. 
But my friend Lupe, shout out to Lupe, sent me this because she knew that I liked it, so she sent me a full-size bottle. This is kind of a luxury item, but I was trying it out one day and I actually really like it. This is the Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. And it's for your lips, obviously. But just put it on like you would a balm at night and you wake up and your lips are like the softest ever. Wow, I'm not sponsored by It Cosmetics. I really wish I was, but I'm not. But the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the face primer I've been using, and this is the Bye Bye Pores Primer. Oil-free, poreless, skin-perfecting serum primer. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It blurs your face. That's it, that's all I have to say. On top of that, before I put my foundation on, this has been kind of a game changer for me because if you guys have seen my older videos when I like don't have any makeup on when I do tutorials and stuff, I am very red here. And that's just because I'm a redhead and I kind of have rosacea. And so it's always been a struggle for me to find foundation that covers all of it without it looking cakey. Or I've tried green primers in the past, but then my whole face is green because I want to prime my whole face and I don't want to like use multiple products and stuff. And I've tried green concealers too, but they're so green and they don't blend well. Well, I finally found one that does blend well and it's been really cool. This one is from Soap and & Glory and I love it. All is Calm Anti-Redness Concealer. It's just a little stick like this and I just color it in. You don't have to use a lot and then I use my finger to blend it in and then I put my foundation on and it's great. I have a new favorite that I did not think I was gonna like as much. I was very pleasantly surprised by this. So Urban Decay sent me a PR package for their cherry line that came out and this was included in it. This is the highlight and blush little palette. What's it? Oh, highlight and blush palette. Yep, that's what it's called. So it comes with three colors like this. There's a really light kind of iridescent highlight, a blush, and a highlight. It's so pretty, guys. I have been using not this one as much. I'll do that if I want a more dramatic highlight, but I will use this as my blush and this as my highlight. When I want to be more dramatic, I'll just tap this a little bit on the high point of my cheekbone on top of this one, but it's so pretty. You know I love Champagne Pop, I use it all the time. I, That is like my go-to if I have to pick one thing, but this is super easy with the blush in it already and the highlight and have it on today and a bunch of bronzer because I was just feeling the bronzer today, I guess, but really love this, really impressed. Highlight goes on really smoothly, so. The bronzer that I've been loving is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, which I never got into. I've always been a hula girl. And a hula girl. But this is the color. It's really pretty. It's darker than hula, but I kind of like it because it gives me the option to really contour if I want to, or I can just do a little bit and blend it all over the face and it's great. A couple more things and then I'm done. I know it's a little long today, but it's been a while. It's been a while. For my eyes, I realize I've been super into mattes if I put eyeshadow on. You guys know I have talked about this in videos before. Most of the time, I don't even put eyeshadow on anymore like today. I just put my bronzer in my crease and a little bit under the eye and that's it. It's really lazy. When I do do eyeshadow, I have been loving the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. And these are always so easy because you can just go in the row if you want to. I'll mix them up sometimes, but it's super easy. I really like this top one. It goes nicely with my hair, this color especially. So I just do that a lot. It's easy, but I also love this MAC palette that I have talked about before, but this is the Warm Neutral. And I've always been a fan of MAC eyeshadows, but these are great neutrals. ColourPop liquid lipsticks are Definitely a current favorite. I use them all the time. My favorite nude right now is Aquarius, which I don't even think they have it anymore, so sorry about that. And I love Strip as a beautiful, like, kind of mauve nude. The last thing for makeup I wanted to add is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This came in my PR package from Urban Decay. Again, I've always strayed away from this because I love my L'Oreal Infallible setting spray and it's drugstore and it's not that expensive and it's done a great job for me. This is a very different kind of setting spray. This kind of mattifies my face, but it seals it in for a long time. 
Like my makeup will not come off if I use this, which is the point. That's why it's called All Nighter. Like this a lot. A random-ish favorite of mine are these glasses. These are the Jaclyn Hill Very Busy sunglasses by Key and I'm obsessed. I was like, I love how these look in pictures. I hope I like them as much on me. I do. A couple random favorites. The first one is Ralph Breaks the Internet. Guys, this movie is so good. I just love the intentionality behind everything and the thought that was put into it. And such a great message. I just, I teared up. It's animated. My song favorite is my song that came out, You Do It. <sighs> Radio Disney picked it up, which is incredible and I love them and I'm so grateful and you guys have been voting for it, so thank you. <sighs> it's just, these are like little dreams that have been coming true and it's just so cool and you guys seem to like the song and I'm so glad you like the song. I'll link it below if you haven't heard it. You should go add it to your playlist, please. That helps me a lot. My drink favorite I wanted to talk about while it's still like Christmas time. For those of you that don't necessarily want a pumpkin, no, no, not no, no more pumpkin, a peppermint mocha. I used to get the skinny peppermint mochas and they don't have that anymore. I'm a little bummed, but it's fine. My favorite drink is a skinny vanilla latte and then you half the amount of syrup with peppermint. So it's not completely sugar-free, but like if you get a grande, it comes with four pumps of syrup. So then you get two sugar-free vanilla and two of them are peppermint. Try it. Tell me it's not amazing. It's just a light minty vanilla latte. That is what that would be. Yes, Maddie, wow. If you try it, let me know. Comment down below or tell me on Instagram. And I love cheesy Christmas movies on Netflix. Tell me what your favorite is. I just watched Christmas Switch. I liked that one a lot. I thought it was really cute. I know people think it's cheesy, but I think that's the point. It's like supposed to make you feel warm and fuzzy. I also love Christmas Prince and I haven't seen the second one yet. Can't wait. And I'm gonna go now cause I'm just rambling, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. I know I have not been the most consistent and I need to be and I want to be. And so I'm going to be. Lots going on in life right now, like good stuff. I'm just busy, but that's not an excuse, but Things are good, more music is coming, and more videos are coming, and I wanna do what you wanna see. So tell me videos that you wanna see in the comments below, and I will do them. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I hope you like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.